Hello children, good morning to you all. Yesterday we have done with the, the adjectives, types of adjectives, how to use them in a correct order. If you get more adjectives in the same sentence, how to use them in a correct order also I will talk. One thing left over was uh, punctuate the given sentences. So what do you mean by punctuating? Punctuate means using capital letters, question marks, commas and full stops in a proper place. Hmm? Punctuating the given sentence means what you are going to do? You are going to use capital letters wherever necessary. If comma is needed, you have to use and um, full stop you have to put at the end of the sentence. If it is a question, you have to use a question mark. These are the things you have to take care of while punctuating any kind of sentences. <clears throat> For example, how to use the capital letters? Where to use the capital letters? Obviously, as you all know, in the beginning of the sentence, we have to use capital letters, right? You all know about it, okay? Then, apart from using in the beginning of the sentence, where else we can use the capital letters? With the proper nouns, we can use the capital letters. The proper nouns, wherever they come, in the middle of the sentence or at the end of the sentence, wherever you get them, you have to use the capital letter for the proper nouns. Names of the places, cities, rivers, mountains, persons. Your pet, etc. Okay. Hmm? So, wherever you get these things. Name of a day, name of the book, name of the building, name of the river, name of a person. They all are called proper nouns. And in the beginning, whether you have proper noun or common noun or pronoun, whatever it is. Or even a question word like what, which, how, whatever you have. For all, in the beginning of the sentence, you are using capital letter. How many days did you spend with your friends? How? H. You can write small h or big h. We have to use big h, capital H. Though it is a question word. Where are you going now? W should be capital. And at the end, there should be question mark. So, when whatever is the first word of a sentence, whether it is a question or a simple sentence, you are using capital letter. And commas, when you get continuously the names of the things or persons or animals, one after the other without any break, there also you have to use comma. And when you get and, a n d and, between two words, raju and ravi, pencil and pen, bread and butter, this and comes between two nouns. There you are not using comma. Understand? When you are using and, there you are not using comma. Understood? Wherever there is comma, you have to, where to use? Where there is no and. Where you are using, Ravi bought a pencil, pen, book, eraser, box, and a scale. Box scale. Between box and scale you have and. So you are not going to give any comma after box. Hmm? Understand. And when you are writing the sentence, compound sentence. Two, three sentences together in a single sentence. In that case also, in few situations you are using comma. When I went to the market... There was lot of rush. When I went to the market, I went to the market is one sentence. There was a lot of rush is another sentence. So instead of, and you are using a uh, conjunction when in the beginning. That's why you are going to put comma in place of first less sentence full stop. If you work hard, success is yours. If is used in the beginning. So, if you work hard, you are not putting a complete stop there. Near hard, you work hard is a single sentence. You work hard is a single sentence. 
and in that case what we do we put comma instead of full stop because we are adding one more sentence to it success is yours is another sentence if you work hard success is yours in this way we can use the um, comma not only with the uh, uh, nouns if they come one after the other continuously in that case plus when we are joining two sentences using any uh, what to say conjunctions in the beginning also we have to use comma though it rained heavily he went out to play it rained heavily is one sentence he went out to play is another sentence it rained heavily when you write single sentence you put full stop right but when you are using though in the beginning to join it rained heavily he went out to play you are joining two sentences making it as a single one though you are using as a conjunction in the beginning so it rained after though it rained heavily you are putting comma in place of full stop then you are continuing with the next sentence he went out to play then last you are putting the full stop in this way in different variations we are using commas not only to make the difference between the words or not to show that uh, difference like uh, all children's names together we are using all things names together you are using one after the other one after the other without any gap that time you are using plus when you are joining two sentences with a conjunction in the beginning you are using the comma in place of first sentence full stop you are removing full stop putting the comma and then second sentence you are starting with a small letter and at the end you are putting full stop when it is the case of question first you are using capital letter for the question then at the end you are putting question mark instead of full stop okay these are certain things you have to remember while punctuating any sentences in your lesson marching to freedom also we have one exercise regarding punctuation so we are it is our last exercise i can tell you so we are going to punctuate the sentences understand it is on page number 53 you please have a textbook with you and sit it will help you a lot open page number 53 when i am reading you to read the sentences of course i am writing the answers also on the blackboard questions and answers both on the blackboard sometimes due to some net problem you may not get the uh, work on the board clearly in that case you can refer to textbook and write wherever i am using capital what you should do cut that small letter and up on it you over it you write capital letter okay that way it will help you to rewrite the sentences again using capitals so our heading is also same what it is rewrite these sentences rewrite these sentences rewrite these sentences using capital letters full stops full stops commas and question marks 
This is our heading for today. Question marks. You are writing this heading, underlining it with the red pencil. Then you are taking the question and the changed format of the sentence. Here few sentences are given in your textbook. You are first writing them as it is. What is the heading you got? Rewrite these sentences using capital letters, full stops, commas and question marks. Okay, this is the heading you have got. And question as it is here, 5 are given. So let us try with this 5. And again I am going to give you one small test in it. Maybe I give you it as a worksheet for Sunday. Hmm? So, first one let me try. You have to write it same way. Underline with the red pencil. Then leave a line. And take the first one from the textbook. Page number 53 as it is. I think I think I left I think I left my purse in the office. My purse in the office. This is the sentence. Okay. Here they did not use capital. They did not use full stop. The two mistakes are there. We have where to use capital as usual in the beginning of the sentence then i is personal pronoun wherever i you get there you are putting capital i want to do this i went with my friend outside then i borrowed a pen from my friend like that i i i anywhere you get it is it should be used as a personal pronoun i whenever you use i as a personal pronoun you should use it in capital whether it comes in the beginning or in the middle or in the end. So, how I showed you? I told even in your textbook also do this. I in small with pencil and here also I or you can use this capital or I mean cursive. I left my purse in the office full stop here. So, how to rewrite it? I capital left my purse in the office. This is the right way. Here, no full stop is given, but we have to do full stop here. See. Sorry. I made a mistake. I think is there first. I think I left again here capital. Worse no. I think I left money purse. In the office. I think I left my purse in the office. Here comes the full stop. Here I capital. Why? Because it is beginning of the sentence. Moreover, it is a personal pronoun. Okay. So we are using it as a capital. Here I being the personal pronoun. Here also we have to use it to capital. Though it has come in the middle. And last we have to put full stop because it is a simple statement, assertive sentence. Then second one. John bought a blue plastic umbrella. John bought a blue Plastic umbrella. Hmm. 
here john should be capital j and plastic blue and plastic two adjectives we used together so we have to put a full um, comma there and at the end of full stop so let me write capital in its place so you either you underline or write there up john board a blue plastic umbrella so these are the two i can't write them no space we will write up again so i am going to rub them i you have to tick underline and write on it cut or write like this you cut and write up here also i don't have proper space so i couldn't write you write in the textbook so that easily you can manage while writing it okay now third one last monday mr pratap mr gupta left for nepal look here last monday l should be capital because it is the beginning of the sentence monday being the name of the day it should be capital mr such things you should write with the capital And put a dot, short form, Mister short form M R. Gupta name of a person, so you need to write capital. Left for Nepal, Nepal name of the country, so it should be with capital. In this way, if you write in your textbook, it will be easy to rewrite again. So even if any problem you got with board work, there you can manage in this way. So your answer. last monday last monday comma mr gupta like this you should write left for nepal in capital being the name of a country this is how you have to right fourth one if i don't come for dance if i don't come for dance if i don't come for dance practice tomorrow If I don't come for dance practice tomorrow, if I don't come for dance practice tomorrow, tomorrow will tara get angry will tara 
get angry i read you tell me if i don't come for dance practice tomorrow will tara get angry it is a question if starting of the sentence so it should be capital i personal pronoun so it should be capital for the dance practice tomorrow if we used claw here if i don't come for dance practice tomorrow one sentence will tara get angry second sentence you are match mixing them using will if in the beginning that's why you have to put a comma here then continue the sentence and last question mark so how it should come if i don't come for if i don't come for dance practice tomorrow here we have to give comma hmm? will tara tara is the name of a person so this t should be capital will tara get angry will tara get angry it is a question so you have to put a question mark here this is how you have to write now last one again i am rubbing this first or third one i am writing it over there fifth one it was raining heavily outside it was raining heavily outside it was raining heavily outside so we stayed at home so we stayed at home and watched cartoons hmm. so it should be capital as it is in the beginning it was raining heavily outside it is one sentence so put a full stop then so we stayed at home and watched cartoons we have to put full stop there hmm. it was raining heavily outside it was raining heavily outside full stop so we stayed to so we stayed at home and watched cartoons this is our sentence we are putting the full stop starting capital it was raining heavily outside here we are putting full stop then we are continuing with the capital so we stayed at home and watched cartoons last also we are putting full stop this is how we have to write and 
this is the textbook exercise but tomorrow i will post one small exercise as a slip test for you in this okay i am not going to use any capitals you have to use and write it understood so here we stop thank you so much please do copy and as i told you please write in the textbook about it right how i showed you correct then start writing means it will be easy for you thank you